so in this video, I managed to solo speedrun Molten Mode in only 13 minutes and 40 seconds. If you want to know how I did the speedrun, make sure you watch the entire video. Before I start with the strat video, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe for more epic TDS content. And also, special thanks to this comment for inspiring me to make the speedrun strategy. The towers I use for the speedrun are shotgunner, scout, commander, farm, and finally the main DPS tower, ranger. I also use the map winter bridges because the map is very good for speedrunning. And finally, if you need text, turn on your subtitles. So, to start off, I'm gonna place full scout to defend against the zombies in the initial wave. Truck gunners isn't that good against the initial waves since it's kind of inconsistent. So I'm just gonna use scout instead. I can only place three scouts because it's only 600 cash in the beginning, not 800. Okay, the round is starting soon. Normal, very easy. So now I'm gonna place my fourth scout. Yeah, here. Okay, so after I done the scouts, I placed two farms with each of them upgraded to level two. I did this until wave five. Okay, next farm. So I've got two level one farms. I'm gonna upgrade each of them to level two. Okay. Grid one. I could upgrade the other farm to level 2 once the wave finishes. There. Now, what I'll do is to place 3 level 2 shotgunners. The strategy is still the same, though it has changed a bit for the entire game. So I'm gonna place those shotgunners near the start to into the kill. If we need space for shotgunners, you can sell scouts. I'm gonna place my shotgun over here. Wave eight. This is pretty much insta kill. Now, what I'll do is to place two level two farms. It's pretty much the same way I did it the previous waves, but then you could upgrade some of your farms to level three. Since after that step, you need to upgrade all your farms to level 3, which in total would be 4 level 3 farms. Okay, so we're killing the abnormal boss pretty fast. There. Okay, so I've got in total 4 level 3 farms. For wave 12, what you'll need to do is to upgrade two of your shotgunners to level 3. There will be two normal bosses spawning at wave 12. Which is that it's important for the shotgunners. It's okay to sell your scouts because they don't deal that much damage. After you have completed this step, you have to get four level 3 farms, which is double the farms. They would provide cheap income. Yeah. It's pretty quick to do this step somehow. Alright, the last farm. 
we actually uh, already placed eight farms. So what you'll need to do now is to upgrade your last shotgunner to level three and get two more level three shotgunners. Just in case the mystery spawn ab the normal bosses. That would be terrifying. And I would ruin the speed run. Okay. So what you will need to do now is to upgrade three farms to level five. Yeah. Now, once they're at level four, upgrade them to level five, as already explained. We're not really suffering for, from mystery RNG, which is good. Now, just one more farm. Wave 18 is basically mystery spam. Okay. After this step, get five more levels. So basically, again, double the amount of towers. Just waiting for wave 19 to clear. Great. So, yeah, you have to place them near the start and the good places. Moltons are pretty easy. See, I'm going to place a shotgunner here. So once you finish getting 10 level 3 shotgunners in total, what you'll need to do is to max out all your farms. It shouldn't take too long to complete this step. Slow boss should come soon. Alright, so slow boss. You have to skip this wave because you won't kill the slow boss before the skip button comes up. So skip this wave. Almost done with upgrading the farms. Okay. Once you've upgraded your farms to level 5, make sure you upgrade 5 shotgunners to max level. And upgrade those that are in the best spots. If, you're, if the shotgunner isn't upgraded to level 5, once you finish this st step, sell the shotguns that aren't upgraded to level 5. Alright, shocks. Basically, insta killing the shocks. So I'm now selling the ones that aren't upgraded to level 5. After this step, what you'll need to do is to get 3 maxed out commanders to chain call of arms. As you can see, we're killing the slow bosses very fast. I forgot to sell the last shotgunner near the front. It looks like I'm able to change it now. This wave takes a long time and there's like no threat of losing somehow. Now the speedy boss wave. Once you finish with three max commanders, what you'll need to do is to place 10 level four ranges. I originally did 10 level 3, but the wave were going too fast, I had to do level 4 ranges to 
keep up with the pace. Speedy Boss was still killed quickly. Wave 31 is a big fight compared to wave 30. There's a speedy boss combined with a lot of slow bosses. Even though it was a big difficulty spike, I still went past through the wave easily because it's a speed run. Okay, mystery bosses. I'm still getting past them easily though. So the next few waves are basically mystery bosses, so you have to be lucky or otherwise you have to get a lot of defenses. Just in case you don't, they spawn a lot of one zombie. This is basically spawn kill until a slow boss appears. But yes, it turns to spawn killing again. Okay, wave 34. Again, another mystery boss spam. Not too hard. Basically, just like wave 31. Still a spawn kill. Spawn killing should be normal in the speed run. Wave. Now this is the peak of the mystery rush. Pretty much, mo almost everything would be mysteries. But I'm still in spawn killing them. Now the mysteries would drop because there would be a mystery summoner. A summoner that spawns mysteries. Yay, RNG again. Oh, we shredded the mystery summoner very quickly. So it didn't have its chance to summon. At this point, it's pretty much spawn killing simulator. I I'm able to spawn kill every single zombie possible. Almost. It's like no threat of losing. Yup. Shredded the mystery summoner. Fast again. So it took a while for me to upgrade 10 ranges to level 4. But then I managed to do it. So what you'll need to do now is to upgrade every single ranger to max level. So you could shred the molten boss easily. It's wave 30 yeah, and it's still almost spawn kill simulator. Wave 39, Molten Titan. I never lost to a Molten Titan, except at that one moment at wave 40, where the Molten Boss spawned the Molten Titan. I won against the Molten Boss, but the Molten Titan reached the end. That's the only time I lost to a Molten Titan. Now time for the easy enemies. Yeah. I'll shred them. The only th was able to turn once. Final wave. Let's see how fast I could shred the Molten Boss. Unlike last time, which I didn't even shred. So you farmed because for more maxed out ranges, you'll need more maxed out ranges for a faster speed run. Or maybe you could go even faster than my time of 13 minutes and 40 seconds. And one thing to note, this video has been cut like around 3 seconds. It's Roblox's fault for that. But I did take a note for the 3 seconds, 
If I didn't, then it would be 13 minutes and 37 seconds. But the Molten Boss was shredded pretty fast. And GG. I won! I won Spawn Killing Simulator. If you enjoyed this fast, tedious speedrun video, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe for more epic, tedious content.